and we're gonna be going over an auto tune uh, for a Keb F5 drive paired with an eye control. So here we got our eye box. We with our Keb F5 drive. Typically, you'll see a cover over the over the drive itself. So the first thing we want to do, if you're on construction mode, is to make sure that you have your safety OK light on, your door lock light on. Uh, starting construction, you're most likely going to have you know some faults and car status, but in the manual, it's going to show you which faults are okay and you should be able to run with those those current faults running on construction because most likely you won't have your door operator plugged in but you are going to need to jump out your your door lock main string or your DLAB or DLAB but those things are some things to consider you have your door, door lock light on for front or if you have rear make sure rear is also lit your safety okay light is on you're not going to have car top on because you don't have nothing connected uh, through the traveler to your car top station okay so you're going to want to be on machine room inspection so once again if you're working on construction it'll say construction machine room inspection you want to make sure you're on construction machine room inspection and not in construction car panel or car top inspection mode so you want to be on the machine room inspection so first thing you're going to want to do is mce they should already have sent you the parameters to go through into your drive also sent a drive manual so you're going to want to go over your drive parameters inside the drive to make sure it's the same or within what you guys have spec'd for your motor as in horsepower, your amperages, your speeds as well. So uh, here we have a geared induction geared machine. So we're just going to go to function. We're going to go to LF3, we're going to hit function, we're going to go until we see S-Learn, okay? So we're going to leave that there, and then we're going to go on the eye view, and we're going to go to view, configuration, brake. So here... We have our pick voltage, partial pick, hold voltage, re-level voltage, weakening voltages. So all these five voltages, we're gonna put those to about 20, about 20 volts. So we got 20, 20, 20. We're gonna click that. Well, we're gonna go acquire right privilege first. Hit acquire because you need to acquire your right privilege in order to change any parameters. So we're gonna click that send button. You know it went through when it's not dark anymore. So after that, you're gonna want both of your brake wires still plugged in because with an eye control it's going to want to see some type of current feedback back to your brake field module or else it'll trip out on a insufficient brake feedback fault and we don't want that you still have those plugged in but if you are still getting an insufficient brake feedback fault you can go into the configuration tab of your brake and you want to take a picture of this and you're gonna set these three 
to zero, point zero 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 for current reference at 10, at 20, at 30 percent, put those to zero. That's going to tell the system while you're running on inspection speed that it's just looking for, it's not looking that for that much amps from your brake coil, so you should be good. So put those down to zero if you're getting an insufficient brake feedback fault. So that covers our brake. Also, we don't want the sheave to spin, so we're going to go to view configuration pattern what you guys will see right now is your pattern scaling is going to be set to 100 percent we're going to put that down to zero and then we're going to click send okay so after that's done we're going to go back Got our inspection switch on. We have it to S learn. And then we're going to press enter. It's going to say start. You're going to want to hold enable and up or enable and down. So right now we're doing the motor tune. Well, one thing to keep in mind is if you have a permanent magnet gearless machine, after your S learn, you're gonna wanna do an SPI learn as well. And you wanna leave the parameters the same on the eye view. Your pattern scaling leave at zero, your brake voltage is down, and also your current reference is down on the 10, 20, and 30 percent. If you're tripping out on a brake voltage not on or brake voltage not off fault, what you can do is you can go to view, diagnostics, fault bypass, put your fault bypass switch on on your eye box and you could for 15 minutes you can bypass your brake voltage on not on and your brake voltage not off fault so you can get through your auto tune and SPI learn most likely you'll get you'll have those encounters with those faults if you're not fully connected to your transformer or the main line for your your brake circuitry so this is probably something that you would just need to bypass for now to do the motor tune and your SPI learn uh, same thing goes for an LCD keypad with the newer Keb F5 drive models gonna want to go through the, the parameters on the drive to make sure your encoder parameters are set correctly, your motor data, and then proceed with your motor tune and your SPI. So now we have done. So now we can just let go of direction. It's gonna say calculating NLP. So now what we can do is we can set our pattern scaling back and all our brake voltage is back and our current reference is back. As well, if you guys have any, any faults that are bypassed, you can bypass those faults. You can turn the fault bypass switch back to off and then test the car to make sure it's going the correct way and the correct speed. <laughs> 